Good morning. We'll start with opening statements by the Secretary General and the Prime Minister, and then we'll have time for a couple of questions. Secretary General. So, Prime Minister Petkov, uh, Kirill, uh, thank you so much for coming to NATO. I know this is your first visit abroad, and congratulations with your appointment as uh, Prime Minister. Uh, I think the fact that you are coming here uh, on your first visit uh, demonstrates the strong commitment of Bulgaria to our alliance and also the importance for all of us that we work uh, more closely together in a more challenging security environment. And I'm also grateful for uh, Bulgaria's contributions uh, to our shared security in the strategic Black Sea region uh, and uh, that you provide different capabilities, including uh, ships to NATO patrols uh, in the region. I also welcome your recent uh, 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 investments in new fighter jets, maritime patrol vessels, and armored vehicles. And I count on Bulgaria uh, to keep investing in defense as we face a more unpredictable uh, world. I also welcome your constructive approach uh, to fostering good relations uh, in the region, and Bulgaria uh, helps build stability in the Western Balkans uh, by contributing to NATO's peacekeeping mission in uh, Kosovo. Uh, Prime Minister, we discussed Russia's um, substantial military build-up in and around uh, Ukraine. This is unprovoked, uh, unjustified, uh, and uh, uh, something which creates uh, uh, great concern among uh, allies. NATO allies uh, have made clear that we call on Russia to immediately de-escalate pursue diplomatic channels and abide by its uh, international uh, commitments on transparency uh, uh, of military activities. We are seriously assessing the implications for alliance uh, security of the current situation. We will respond in a determined way to any deterioration of our security environment, including through strengthening our uh, collective defense uh, posture. NATO will take all necessary uh, measures to ensure the security and defense uh, of all NATO allies. Any further aggression uh, against Ukraine would have massive consequences and would carry a high price. We reiterate our support for the, international, um, for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. NATO's relationship uh, with Ukraine is a matter of uh, uh, is a matter uh, only for Ukraine and the 30 NATO allies. And at the same time, uh, allies made clear that we are ready uh, for meaningful dialogue uh, with Russia, and we reiterate uh, our long-standing invitation to Russia for a meeting uh, of the NATO-Russia Council. We have received uh, Russia's recent proposals. We are clear that any dialogue with Russia would also need to address NATO's concerns about um, Russia's actions. Be based on the core principles um, and documents of European security and take place in consultation with NATO's European partners, such as Ukraine. NATO allies have also made clear that uh, should Russia take concrete steps to reduce tensions, we are prepared uh, to work on strengthening confidence-building uh, measures. So, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, once again, welcome uh, to uh, NATO. It's great to see you, and I very much look forward to working with me uh, with you. Uh, welcome to NATO. Thank you so much. Um, you are uh, the first great host that I've had since um, I was elected as a Prime Minister, and it was a pleasure to have the morning meeting with you. Um, I want to reconfirm what we stated during the meeting, that Bulgaria will have a very constructive uh, role in NATO, uh, as well as in the Euro European Union. We discussed the ability of coordination uh, between all the structures within the European Union and the structures of NATO. They have to work in synergetic joint way. Uh, Bulgaria is planning uh, to have continuous communication, constructive approach, uh, and when we discuss about strategic issues like the one that you mentioned uh, with Ukraine, uh, we are fully aligned with the NATO and European positions on that, uh, just to state it very clearly, as well as we truly believe that always the diplomatic and peaceful approach uh, to potential conflicts is the best way going forward, and I'm very happy that you also confirmed that as well. Um, this is our first meeting. I invited you uh, to Bulgaria. I'll be very happy to host you back 
uh, for a little bit longer next time we see each other. And uh, when we talk about investment in uh, new military um, strategic infrastructure, as well as modernization. I think there is a lot to gain uh, from such investments, especially if they're done in a very smart strategic way that helps both uh, the NATO uh, capabilities, but also uh, the economic development of a uh, country like Bulgaria. Uh, as well as we fully realize that having a st stable Balkans uh, is priority for Bulgaria, of course, a major priority, and having friendly relationship with everybody and moving forward in one direction. We also understand as a uh, NATO ally that that's strategic for the overall goals that we want to achieve in this part of the world. Uh, so having said that, it was a great first meeting and I appreciated uh, the joint talk together. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to BTV first. Okay, please. Uh, Mr. Secretary General, in light of the new military build up of, on the Russian Ukraine border, do you uh, consider to deploy more NATO uh, forces in the Black Sea region? And to our new Prime Minister, welcome to Brussels, first of all. And uh, uh, what are the plans of the new government? How much of the GDP do you plan to, to spend on defense, Mr. Petkov? Thank you. Well, so what we now see in and around Ukraine is a significant, uh, gradual, uh, ongoing uh, Russian military build-up with uh, uh, armored units, with uh, artillery, with uh, battle tanks, with uh, uh, electronic warfare systems, with drones, uh, and with tens of thousands of combat-ready troops. Uh, and of course, there is no clarity about the exact intention of uh, uh, this uh, military build-up, but. Uh, uh, what we know is that Russia has used military force against Ukraine before. Um, so, of course, we can hope and we should hope for the best, but we need to be prepared for the worst. Uh, and we also see this um, more and more uh, aggressive rhetoric from the Russian side, uh, putting forward, uh, 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 also stating red lines and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, conveying a message uh, which uh, uh, add to the concern uh, of uh, uh, allies. So we, uh, from the NATO side, are very closely monitoring uh, what Russia does. We have increased our intelligence uh, uh, capabilities uh, to follow closely the military build-up. Uh, we share uh, uh, intelligence and, uh, and uh, of course, we continue to provide support to Ukraine. Uh, with training, with, um, with NATO allies provide equipment, uh, uh, um, we have joint exercises, and so we work together and done that for many years, uh, NATO and, uh, and Ukraine. Then we have to make sure that uh, uh, we are ready to defend and protect all NATO allies. We don't see any imminent threat against any NATO ally, but of course we see increased tensions, uh, uh, and this is of... Uh, importance, relevance for all NATO allies, but especially for the allies in the region, uh, uh, Bulgaria uh, being one NATO ally in the Black Sea region. Uh, we have, uh, since Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea uh, and continued uh, uh, destabilization of uh, eastern Ukraine, Donbas, NATO has implemented the biggest reinforcement or collective defense in a generation with um, battle groups in the eastern part of the alliance, in the Poland and, um, and, uh, and the Baltic countries, uh, tripling the size of the NATO response force uh, that can quickly reinforce if uh, needed, and also increased our presence in the, in the Black Sea region, um, uh, in the air, uh, on land, at sea, uh, with Navy patrols, with, um, with air policing, uh, and also with what we call tailored forward presence in, in Romania, but Bulgaria is part of that. You contribute to that tailored forward presence. So we, we will constantly assess the need to uh, further adjust uh, our posture, our presence uh, also in the southeast of the uh, region, uh, because we need to uh, uh, be sure that we can always uh, protect and defend all allies against any threat and with increased tensions, it's uh, even more important that we are vigilant and adjust our posture as necessary. In regards to your second question, um, when we dis discuss about investment in the military infrastructure, 
uh, we see that there could be a very big synergies between military and civil infrastructure with military grade. So when we include this um, part of the infrastructure with military grade, especially, um, for example, as you very well know, we have a single bridge over the Danube River. Maybe a, a second one next to the one in Russia would be very, very interesting and strategic point. So in that respect, when we include these investments, I think the 2% part of the GDP target is very well achieved. Okay, we'll go to Nova. Hi, it's Nova TV, Bulgarian private television. A question for the Bulgarian prime minister. Uh, my question is, um, if Bulgaria would support somehow Ukraine with logistic equipments, reassure them that Ukrainians that uh, we are reliable partners, and also if you think there is a march, Bulgaria could try also to mediate with Moscow somehow, as we are anyway in a close relationship with Russia historically. Thank you. So as I stated, um, our position on the Ukraine issue is fully aligned with our NATO partners and with the European Union. So in that respect, um, I believe that whatever uh, contributions we can constructively help, we'll be happy to do so. Uh, as well as I mentioned earlier that, uh, of course, the diplomatic path to resolving this conflict would be the very much the best way. And we'll be very happy uh, to take a constructive role in that as well. Of course, this is a coordinated joint strategy that we have to discuss, but in the end of the day, we will all benefit from a peaceful Black Sea region, and we will all benefit from the fact that uh, jointly uh, we, we are stronger. Okay, we'll go to BTV. <clears throat> Thank you very much. This is Slava Minchova, BTV, Bulgarian Television, Mr. Stoltenberg, Mr. Petkov. How would be Bulgaria useful for NATO in Black Sea region. Thank you. Well, B Bulgaria is a highly valued uh, NATO ally, and uh, Bulgaria contributes to our shared security, to our collective defense in many different uh, ways. Just the fact that Bulgaria is a literal state to the Black Sea is important. Uh, uh, we have to remember that uh, uh, three NATO allies are literal states, uh, 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 Turkey, uh, Bulgaria, and uh, Romania. And then we have two uh, very uh, important partners. So we have uh, uh, Georgia and Ukraine, NATO partners, uh, and this is important because we see the tensions, uh, we see the challenges in the Black Sea uh, region, uh, especially with uh, the, uh, the conflict in Ukraine and the illegal annexation of Crimea. So, of, of course, all of this makes the whole Black Sea region uh, a region of great strategic importance for uh, NATO. Uh, then uh, Bulgaria contributes in many different ways. Uh, you have a naval presence in the Black Sea, we welcome that. Uh, you are, or Bulgaria has invested and made decisions to invest in, in new uh, aircrafts, uh, fighter aircraft, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and also in new uh, maritime patrol vessels. And, uh, and, and also the fact that, you, uh, that, that Bulgaria has um, uh, committed to uh, continue to increase defense spending is uh, something that is of great importance for Bulgaria, but also, of course, uh, for uh, NATO. Let me also add that uh, Bulgaria also contributes to, um, uh, to our mission in Kosovo. It's, uh, it's in the Western Balkans, or, or, but, but it is important for the broader region, and, and therefore also Bulgaria helps to stabilize the Western Balkans, which is uh, uh, important for the whole of uh, NATO. So we are uh, confident that uh, Bulgaria will continue to step up I had a good discussion with the Prime Minister today, and the message is that, yes, we need to work together. Um, uh, we need to strengthen our military defense, uh, invest in, in, in defense, but also technology, and also see the link between the private sector and the, and the, and the public sector, private and, and, and sector, and, the, and our armed forces, uh, both when it comes to technology, but also uh, related to issues like military mobility, infrastructure, resilience of societies. So uh, Bulgaria is contributing in many ways. We, Welcome that, and I look forward to continue to work with the Prime Minister. Thank you very much. This concludes this press point. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Thank you.